Alrighty, Sean Don back with technical analysis number two on the day. Kiana Emerson throwing shot, but once again sent in by her John, her father John. Um, just did a hammer one that I uploaded probably about ten minutes ago, twenty minutes ago. So go check that out. I think I did a nice job on that one. So um, yeah, rarely seen shot put analysis because people think I only know the hammer throw. That is fake news. I also threw shot put. My PR was over 60 feet in college for only having a bench press of 275 and didn't even get to throw shot put when I was in my athletic prime around like 2016, 20, 2016 mostly, but, uh, it doesn't matter. That's just me talking about myself. Let's talk about Kiana throwing the shot, but let's take a look. Yep. So, one more time. Not too shabby. Once again, Kiana is smaller, 5'5". Five five. Just learned the rotation in November, I believe. That's what her father said via email. And, I mean, honestly, it looks pretty good for it only being January 11th. Um, so, let's break it down. Um, very straight up and down through the torso, feet wider than shoulder width, knees a little bit inwards, shoulders level, hips level, pretty standard here. Um, pretty much staying in the center of your little wind at the start. Shot far back behind the neck. Little rise up there. Decent across the circle. Could be a little bit more open. Uh, so I'm just running through this real quick and then we're going to try to break down a little bit more. Decent through the middle of the circle. Look at that base of effort. Getting down. Relatively wrapped. Coming through, elbow down a little bit. You can see hand up. Once again, kind of throwing up. So, yeah, not too shabby, once again, for being smaller. And just picking this up, the rotation up a couple months ago. Uh, so, yeah. So, what I would say is, in the hammer, I prefer a front squat position. In the uh, back of the circle, in shot put i prefer a little bit more of a back squat position so um as you can see you get a little bit deeper into your legs but essentially your shoulders are right over your hips um so i'd say maybe bend your knees just a little bit more sit your butt back just a bit think about like i said quarter back squat nothing crazy i think that's a nice strong position or like a vertical kind of jump at the bottom of a vertical jump you dip down you're about a quarter squat position um so quarter squat hips back a little bit more chest down just a little bit eyes up still but um, I think this torso upright is just not the most powerful position. It kind of shortens the radius, shortens the path, not the radius, sorry, shortens the path of the shot put through the circle. Um, so if you bend forward a little bit, not too much though, because once again, you're smaller, you don't want to kind of uh, get yourself pitted through the middle. So just a little bit of lean forward, nothing crazy. Uh, what I would do is in this windup, as you can see, you stay pretty centered. You turn your body, you turn this left side back. You can see it's all working together, which is good. But you stay centered. Once again, not getting much change in the path of the shot put. Essentially goes right around this left shoulder and forward through the middle instead of this wide sweep out of the back. And then shortening the path of the shot put through the middle of the circle and through the finish to help the acceleration. Um, so. That being said, I would shift your weight more over to this right side in this windup. Um, so go backwards. All right, nice and centered on this left side windup. I would shift this right side. I would shift more to your right side. Get the shot put out more over this right leg. Just a bit more. That'll kind of come also with if you put your uh, chest a little bit more forward. It's like I said, that, that quarter squat position. Um, just get over more, more over this, uh, right foot. 
and then that will also help your entry because you'll be out more over here so then that way the path of the shop looking can come longer around um, rather than this very quick turn around uh, around this left side so longer path of the ball in the entry is better in my opinion um so out or uh, moving on from that um uh, as you can see so so you're going to wind up more on this right side and then you're unwind on this left side as you can see once again you don't get very far over the right so you don't get very far over the left um this left side kind of pulls back just a bit but you can see yeah, this left side kind of pulls back for this right side to come through. When ideally, you should try to think about this left side, mostly this left toe. Imagine there's a post going up and down through this left side. All right, or you want to think about it kind of like a door hinge, fence post, whatever you want to. Th I, I like the door hinge analogy because you want to think about, uh, like, a door hinge here and this door, the shop put door. <laughs> weird analogy the, the the door rotates around the door hinge the shop put this right side should rotate around the left side whereas right now like i said this left side's pulling back out of the way a little bit for this right side to come through and that's why you kind of see this directional energy kind of going down this left sector line rather than going straight down the middle or even kind of down the right mostly down the middle would be good but um so yeah so left side think of it as a post and then think about pushing the shot put so just kind of like you would push the hammer think about pushing the shot put around this post um once again long path wind up over here and then unwind around this left post uh and then try to get this left hip a little bit more forwards out over here left knee out more over the toe and this left shoulder a little bit out more over there as well that'll once again kind of lengthen the path of the shot but leaving you more time to accelerate whereas right now the path is pretty short leaving you with not much time to accelerate um also you can kind of see yourself turning ahead of the shot put sort of um your lower body's turning before the shot put even has a chance to kind of get moving um i try to stay a little bit more square out of the back once again, sending that shot put, sending this right side, sending this right hip around this left hip, this left knee, especially. Got to get way out more over this left side. And then there's a slight rise here, as you can see. Kind of load up, quite literally load up as this right foot comes off. Stay down. If anything, you don't want to rise up. You want to, once again, kind of drop down on this left knee. As you can see, this left knee is pretty straight right here not much once again kind of just like in hammer like i said in the last video not much directional energy going forwards <coughs> excuse me sip of coffee yes please um left knee kind of straightens out and hikes the hips up a little bit and you need once again more directional energy forward across the circle not necessarily up and down or rotational um, in the entry though we do need a little bit more rotation but it's got to be the shot put and not the body. Body's doing a lot of rotating. The shot put is not. It's about moving the shot put, not moving your body. That's how you throw shot put far. Much easier said than done, though. So um, try to stay down. Like I said, get this left shoulder out. And then get this right leg wide. All right. Think about kind of leading with the inside of the leg, the adductor, the instep of the foot, kind of like you're kicking a soccer ball. As you can see, this right side's getting left way behind when it needs to come. Like I said, the whole right side together. I like to think about shot put as sides rather than upper lower body. So as you can see, the shot put's way ahead, left or right leg is way behind. You got to bring the whole right side together around. As you can see, you kind of get this straight legged kick. You're internally rotated here. This foot's turned in, knees turned in, hips turned in. Not very powerful position. Once again, kind of shortens your path through the circle, and you come and cut across the circle rather than drive across the circle. So you want to drive straight forward across the circle, not cut down this left sector line, which you can see you almost do perfectly with this left foot pointed down here, and then this right foot also pointed down there, and then this right leg sweep also pointed down there. Um, so instep, lead with that instep a little bit more, that adductor, 
get out of that left side more and that'll help kind of line you up better through the middle of the circle and then also at, the, at about this point right here you want to think about dropping that left knee forwards all right and driving like i said straight across the circle not coming across the circle the rotational energy of your body that you've already created will, will keep you turning so you want to think about driving straight not driving down that side of the circle biggest thing here is yeah definitely get that um, heel down toe up lead with the end step that's a big deal drive across the circle um as you come through the middle i think you could face the throw a little bit more if you're still facing the sector a little bit better here that'd be good um and as you come through the middle that left foot gets off pretty quick and you get down pretty quick good you're not jumping too much through the circle that's always good i like to stay more grounded just like in hammer where you need more double support you also need more double support chocolate so um Anytime you spend up in the air with both feet off the ground, you're definitely not accelerating. But with one foot on the ground, you still kind of do some things. Um, movement through the middle is actually pretty decent. Chest could be up a little bit more. So kind of in the opposite, like I said, if your chest is kind of down just slightly like quarter squat in the back, I think it helps through the middle a little bit more. But this position is pretty solid. Level shoulders, level hips, knees square kind of settle in so think about as this rifle comes down you don't want to extend yet all right don't think about trying to finish the throw until that left foot gets down so try to feel this left foot come down and try to stay as wrapped as possible when this left foot does come down though then you can let loose and go nuts um, also if, like i said if you get more out around the left in the entry you'll be able to get that left foot down quicker at the front whereas right now like i said everything's kind of rotational and you kind of shoot down here which is why it takes a bit for that left foot to get down. Um, level shoulders, level hips, pretty solid. Let's see. As you can see, there's a little bit of left heel grounding here. That's good. Left heel grounding is nice. Keep your legs nice and bent. Long double support. Okay, not bad. Um, you could stay down though, as you can see, this right leg really straightens out. Try to throw more with the hips and core rather than your, um, kind of extension upwards through the arms. As you can see, because the legs straighten out a little bit, shot put shoots up, but that elbow is down. It's not quite behind the shot put right here. That's the best angle to kind of view that. You can see that right elbow is down a little bit fingers are facing up rather than to the left to the side um it's a sign that you're jumping a little bit and the shot's getting pushed up too much um so once again try to throw outwards not upwards it's about how far the ball goes not how high the ball goes i know how high the ball goes affects how far the ball goes but often people try too hard to throw up and not hard enough to throw out so um really try to keep that elbow up and push out not up and I think that'll help you out a bit. So, and then reverse. I also like, to, I just want to mention that, like you said, your daughter's smaller, John. Um, I like that you guys don't use the whole ring because I think when you have smaller people um, and you try to get them to use this whole seven foot ring, it can actually create some bad habits. And um, yeah. So, just wanted to say that. I like it. Keep it up. She does a good job of getting across the circle. She uses as much as she about needs to. She doesn't really have to. She's not reaching too much. She's not doing anything crazy. Um, but, yeah, biggest thing, like I said, is kind of getting this wind up, this entry, this path of the shot put, this path of the body a little bit longer and wider out around the left side around here. And then more straight across the circle, not down this left sector line. Outside of that, things are not too far off. So, all right. Thanks for watching. Sean Don. Peace out. If you'd like a technical analysis of your own, go to SeanDonnelly.biz. Go to the services page. Sign up now. $15. Shop with discus hammer. Not javelin. Don't do that. But weight throw. I do that. Definitely. Um, so sign up now. Indoor season is here. Start making some gains. Sean Don. Peace out. Until next time.